Hello, my name is Josh Hilliker I'm with the Intel vPro Expert Center. Today we're at Intel Labs, and I'm here with Todd Christ. Hey, Josh. And today we're, we're talking about remote management and remote repair. And in this problem, myself as a user, I have a laptop that's down. And prior, I would have to take that notebook to a cage, to a service technician, and have them fix it. Today, we're going to show how to do that with Intel vPro technology. Todd, will you show us? Sure will. All right, let's take a look at the systems here. So we've got uh, your box over here that's crashed, and uh, you'd be placing a call into the uh, tech center. So let me fire up the console. And uh, today we're using the Altruist console to go in. We have a collection of systems already in here, and I know that your system is this uh, AMT box here. We'll go into the resource manager and take a little deeper dive into this system. Go into the real-time system manager. And this gives you that deeper look into the box itself from the firmware level. And what's going to happen is you'll see uh, all the specifics come up for this system. And we'll go into administrative tasks under the hardware management tab. And it takes a couple seconds to grab the information. And I can see this is your machine. And what I'll do is uh, reboot, reboot the system and take a look at what's going on. So we can run that right now. Send the command down the line. As you can see, your system's rebooting. And I'm getting to see exactly what's coming up on the screen here. So as we let this go through the boot up process, I'll be able to see remotely what you're seeing at your desk. So this can be done you know, down the hall or you know, far away from a different location as well. Uh, system boots up. I can see here from the screen that you have the, the NT loader is missing. Uh, many people have run into this issue before. So what we're going to have to do is repair this system. And I have, um, this is a, a serial over LAN connection, so I can actually see what's happening on your remote desktop. I can close this out and then scroll down. And what I want to do is display, and then I'll reboot to a remote CD image. So I have a location that has an, an ISO image uh, that's basically set up and ready to go that has the files that we need. So, you know, we can have this scripted for uh, an IT admin or a remote, remote administrator to sit down and look at this box and, and they, they have the files that they need to do the replacement. So, what's going to happen is you'll see it reboot again and run through the system. And before it boots to the hard drive and misses that and has that missing file, what it's going to do is, is boot to a remote, uh, that remote ISO image. And you'll see that come up here in just a second. And this is the system loading the IDE image. Great, so now we're into the system. And the list of files that I need is in here. So you can see there's the NT loader is available right here on my remote system. And what I'll do is copy it from this drive, this virtual drive that I've uh, mapped to, copy it down to the C drive on your system over the network, copies the file over there. So one file has been copied. I can close this now and we're back here and I should be able to just reboot, have reboot selected, run task now. Your system's going to reboot and we'll see in a couple of seconds that your system should be up and running again. And this is all done in a matter of uh, just a couple minutes. Uh, versus sending a technician out to the location or bringing your laptop in to have it repaired. It saves a lot of time and energy. Uh, a couple minutes down is a lot better than uh, a half an hour or more, you know, depending on how busy your, your tech cage is. So as you can see, Windows XP is up and running now and booting up for your system. So it's uh, remotely repaired, configured, and, and managed and fixed. Todd, this is IT the way it should be. It is.